Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm out here and I'm fishing with this guy. Some of you probably recognize him. This is Aaron from Slab Zone Lures. Today, basically, we're out here in the bay and we're trying to look for some halibut. We're doing it kind of differently than, than most people do. This is why this is what I like about uh, his style of fishing. We're going lures only and not only are we going lures only, we're going his lures only. So we're using the slabs, slabs only today. For those of you not familiar with the slab, this is it. That's the slabs on lures. I'm gonna leave all of his links, everything down in the description, just so you can, you guys can get uh, a chance to purchase some of his stuff because it's really great. And, and I mean, these things are, I mean, from what I understand, they're literally designed like the bait fish in the bay. Yeah. Right. So you you look at his site, you know, it's like slab choby. So uh, I'm sure you, <laughs> I'm sure you can guess what that is. And Jack Smeezy. Yeah. So. I mean, th these are four here. You can see they got a little rattle in there, which is nice. And also the cool thing about these is these are uh, one piece. They're not swim baits that you kind of connect to a, to a jig head. And at least for me, my swim baits tend to last me uh, one, two, three good fish max. What's your swim bait life like? Uh, we, we say you can get 10, but people catch more. 10. Um, 10, and he does not he catch small fish. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much um i got a, like this one right here this one has like five halibut on it Oof. three stripers already but you can see it's pretty much still intact yeah so yeah look at that it still works i won't be throwing this away at all i'll probably use it until i lose it or until it really gets shredded these are really high quality swim baits and if you're into that which i you should be really definitely check his stuff out but today we're, we're just gonna be fishing around here we're gonna get to a to a spot further down and start fishing so what we're gonna try to do is um we're gonna try to basically find these halibut off of a point or off of some structure and try to find some sand to rock transitions um don't have a fish finder just got to kind of use your fisherman iq to kind of find them but this is just techniques that i use personally it's not the uh be all and see all but they work for me so um, when I'm out, it's kind of just cast and find out. And if you find them, you find them. If you don't, you don't. But it is a long process to find halibut. Most people go out on several trips and they don't really catch. It's just kind of one of those things where you got to be in the right place at the right time where they're feeding. So what we're trying to do is see if there's a pattern of incoming tide today. And if they're feeding on the incoming, that's great. If they're feeding on the top of the tide, that's great. You know, on the outgoing, that's great. So we'll find out. But we're going to be in the right position. We're in San Francisco Bay. so. It's been a lot of halibut being caught. When I'm out in the bay, I usually bring one of each size of my lure. So I'll try to start, depending on how deep the water is, with the six inch, which is the 1.5 ounce jig head. And if I'm missing fish on it, then I'll downsize to the one ounce, which is uh, the four and a half one ounce jig head. And then if I'm missing fish on those, I'll downsize to the three quarter ounce which is the four inch. And then if I'm not getting them on that and they're biting it, missing it, I'll downsize to the half ounce. Now there's been some times where I've been going with the mini, which is the quarter ounce, but that's a rare occasion. That's like desperation fishing if you want to really <laughs> catch that small halibut, but this one will get them as well. But everybody's kind of scared of this one, but this one, <laughs> this one gets you what you want. Yeah, no, if I was a halibut, I'd be scared of that one. All right, well, we're gonna throw these around. So we're just working the shoreline right now, basically looking for little transition areas. And I mean, you can see there's, that's a very rocky shoreline right there. I mean, if you fish, you should be able to tell that looks pretty fishy. So I noticed he works his lure all the way up to his kayak, right beneath the kayak. And he was telling me he actually gets a lot of bites right underneath him. And then halibut aren't necessarily like other fish. You know, there's other fish that if they're there and you're casting, they'll hit. But halibut, they're, they're, they're fine, fine fish. They, they won't let you know as easy. Once you get it, it's all worth it. For those of you have, who have never tried halibut, try one and that hopefully that will inspire you to come fishing for them. Market wise, you know, you can sell them if you're fishing for them recreationally, but I think in the supermarket, they might go for like 30 bucks a pound. It's an extremely expensive fish just because it tastes so good. And they're right in your backyard if you live out here. So check this out. This is better demonstration of how to swim these. So, so when you're doing halibut, you want to throw it out it's almost as if you're like fishing for perch you want to let your lure set and then once it sets you want to keep your rod tip at least maybe about two feet above your head right because you're on the kayak and you reel up and you pump as you reel reel up you pump as you reel 
and you barely move it. You don't want to do this because this puts slack in your line and you might get a bite. You want to just keep tension on it all the time. So when you do get a bite, it's immediate hook set. And the reason why I bounce like that, because I don't like dragging, because if you drag it, you'll get snagged. And not saying you won't get snagged with the weight like this, but you get snagged, you know, um, your percentage goes down for getting snagged. Oh, yeah. I think I had a fish on. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> close, close. Hey, we're warming up, we're warming up. But I mean, yeah, just bounce it over because you can see it's a rocky bottom. So there's plenty of snags, but if you know how to work it, hopefully you won't get snagged as much. So right now in this little cove, very, very shallow water, I, I can see my lure as it as it bounces as I flutter up and down. So it's about three feet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna downsize. So I'm gonna switch over to this half ounce. This half ounce you can see is a smaller profile and it's better for this shallower water. But check out th my arsenal. So right now, this is all I packed today. I got one and a half ounce, one ounce, three quarter ounce, and down to the half ounce. So we're loaded up on the slabs. Half ounce, let's see how it does. So right now we're in very, very, very shallow water and that's totally fine, you know? It, it can be two feet, one foot, whatever. These halibut are flat, they're completely flat. And sometimes shallower water is better. So he's saying a lot of the reasons why they're, they're in shallow is sometimes the water cools down and they wanna warm up. So that shallower water is obviously warmer and they'll take advantage of that. Oh, fish on. Go, bro, start recording. Fish on, that's a fish, that's a fish. Yep, look at that, on the slab. First fish on the slab, baby. Uh, it's, it's all right, here, let me see. We were, he was towing me around, cause uh, kinda hard without the pedals, but there you go. Nice, that's a fish. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. Oh, it's a striper. That's a good stripe. That's a good, uh, good striper though. Look at this. Nice. That's a good striper. Look at this striper. Nice. And on that half ounce. Yeah. On that half ounce. Beautiful That's fish. Slab chovy, yeah. baby. Slab chovy. Look at that. That was not coming off. <laughs> that was not coming off. So a, a lot of times uh, people lose fish because it just flops out of the kayak. Just a tip. This will, this will be helpful for you one day. When you lose a fish, put your leg over it, please. Let me measure him. He's a little crooked, but you can see over 18. Looks like 20, 20 and a half. Kind of close to 21. Good striper. And I'm going to get this guy on a stringer over there. But first fish, baby. Feels good. Absolutely inhale that slab trophy. So that's the first fish. And you can see what we're doing. Since uh, I don't got a rudder or pedals or anything, I'm getting towed. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, it's Slab Zone Tours, baby. Check it out. Coming soon. So that was on this half ounce. I'm just going to keep casting right by shore and just keep doing what I was doing. That was on a straight retrieve, but we are targeting halibut. So back to that little bounce. That was a rock right there. Let me see. And there you go. That two reel. Let it go down. Two reel. Let it go down. Very nice. Got some rocks in there. Oh, he's on, he's on. Okay, I'm gonna reel mine in. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep, only a matter of time. Striper. Oh, it's a striper. No, that was a halibut, yeah. All right, though, my heart just went off. Look at that, that's another nice striper. Probably another 20, about the same size of that. That's a nice fish, though, that's a nice fish. Look at that, right on that, he's using that three quarter ounce I switched to it as well, and he's just bouncing the bottom right now for halibut. And we're gonna get the release on this guy. There he is. Nice. Let him. It felt like a halibut. I saw that rod bend and I thought, yep. Oh my god. Well, that's a fish. A fish is a fish. So we're gonna stay in this little cove a bit, just see what the heck is up with these stripers. You know, it's very stripery. We got sandy bottom and rocky bottom. Nice little combo, so we could totally run into a halibut as well. And just gonna keep casting and then see when we hook up. Oh yeah? Same setup, yeah. Hold up everything. Like, uh... Yeah, it's thick too, though. Oh yeah, it's got, it's got backbone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, GoPro, start recording. Oh, the fish on. No way. Okay, I tried his rod for one cast and we hooked a fish. That's dope. That's awesome. Oh, that's a good striper. Another striper. <laughs> what the heck? That's awesome. That's, dope, that's awesome. It's the rod. It's all about the rod. <laughs> nice. Nice. Literally one cast with his rod. Nice. Yeah, yeah, let, let him back. Nice. Well, that's another, that's a striper right there. It's all about the rod. One cast with that rod. But now I know what it's like to have a fish on it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really funny. We've been casting in this area for a while now and I literally he offered to let me try to cast his rod. One cast and boom. So that's awesome. Second striper for me right now. Third striper overall. Looks like we're running into the striper. Haven't seen any halibut yet, but only a matter of time, baby. Right place, right lures for sure. And just gotta keep going at it. Yeah, they're here, they're here. We'll get them. Let me tell you what just happened. So. He had, he hooked a really big halibut or he had a big, big, big halibut bite. We can look at this lure and you can see right there, that's torn up. These are cuts, that's a halibut. This is actually really cool, here you go. Because uh, halibut, he's telling me, if you get a bite and they don't get hooked, you can usually get them again. They'll, they'll stay in that area and you can cast around and get them. But then not only that, since that was a big halibut, it's probably a female and that means there's probably males around. So keep casting, that's what we're gonna do. And let's see if we can pick one up. Looks like that big female didn't want to come back and we didn't run into any males, so we're making our way. Uh, look at those pilings over there though. Those look really, really nice. There's just, there's gotta be fish there. So we're gonna make our way over there and just play around the structure, bouncing around. But meanwhile, we're literally just drifting around, casting toward beaches. And we're just gonna make our way over there slowly. Alrighty, we're heading right into the pilings. This looks so fishy. There's gotta be something here. Each one of these pilings must have bait fish and those bait fish, I'm hoping are attracting some halibut. They definitely, they gotta be. Look at this. This is like a fisherman's heaven right here. He's gonna get the right side. I'm gonna get the left side. We're gonna cover every piling and we're gonna leave no stone unturned here. So right now, just, just flicking it real close, right next to the pilings, letting it sink, and bouncing it, let it hit the bottom, bounce it again. And I, I pulled up my lure and it had some seagrass on it. That's good, because uh, right in the transition zone where the seagrass and just sandy bottom meet, there's gotta be somebody ambushing something. Nothing in the pilings, which is surprising. We did have one bite. He got one bite at the pilings, but there were so many pilings, so many opportunities for halibut and nothing. Oh, he's on. Oh, he's on. No, no, that's painful. That was a halibut. Oh my god. So it actually come back. So he, he he'd felt it before and he just dropped it back down and it picked it up. He had it hooked. He had it on and it just shook the hook or something. That's painful. This is the one that got the uh the striper bites, right? But it was the Oh, that's the two. The heli marks. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, man. and that's on that half ounce right there. Yeah, I'm so fucking pissed. Oh. That was a heli for sure. Yep. Oh, it was like oh. Oh. Yeah, we've been going at it all day right now. It's 2 p.m. <laughs> it's 2 p.m. That was it, yeah. So he's getting bit right now, but we think it's some small striper because he, he basically, he gets a lot of bites, but it's not, nothing's getting hooked. Oh, he's on, he's on. He's on. What you got? Striper. Another striper. Nice though. Woo! Yeah. That was on that half ounce again. That's nice though. That's another fish right there. So, so far, that's four stripers and uh, missed halibut. 
Oh, nice, nice. He's on. He's on again. Looks like that's another striper. Let's see him. Look at this. That's a good striper. That's a good fight. Oh, yeah, that's a good striper. That's a good striper. Nice. There you go. So he just picked up two striper in the last five minutes. Looks like they're hanging around here. But this is a nice one. Look at that. Yeah, that's fatty. So now we got two stripers on there. That's a one person limit. But that's five total that we've caught now. So stripers have been good. Just because, um, you know, nobody was there to get it. Yeah. And I don't eat them, so I'm not going to keep it. Yeah. Super shallow over here right now. Oh, there we go. Fish on, baby. All right. He's back on. Looks like that's probably another striper. Nice, nice, nice. Just on our way back right now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another good one. Nice, so that's on that uh, half ounce again. Nice, so look at this striper. This is a chunkier one and it's really nice. Look at those, look at those fins. And that's the sixth one of the day. And that's really, really nice. So we're gonna just keep fishing, see if we can run into more stripers or finally a halibut. GoPro, start recording. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got pranked. That was not a fish. I got pranked. I, that, I, that felt like a good one. That felt like my, that felt like my 30 inch halibut to me. Uh, you know what? It's the same adrenaline as hooking a fish right there. All right, we made it back, but no more fish. In total though, that was six striper. We were looking for halibut, but it doesn't happen every time. We'll get him next time. However, every fish was caught on the slab. I'm leaving all of the links for the for the lures and for his page down below, as well as his Instagram. So be sure to give him a follow. And yeah, just check out Slab Zone Lures. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. And until next time, tight lines.